looks so cute. Hi, <laughs> baby girl. I love you. I love you. This is Canelo's last day as a four-legged dog. And to be honest, I think right now, the thing she's most concerned about is that she can't have breakfast before we go to the vet, which seems wholly unfair to her. Doesn't it, baby? How you doing, baby? Who are you talking to me or the dog? <laughs> Both of you. It's gonna be kind of a weird, hard day. I think the hardest part is that she doesn't get to come home with us today. So we don't get to be with her and know how she is doing. I know, but she has professional dog nurses helping her, so. Yeah, she needs her professional mm -hmm. help. We love you. This oh. is gonna be a new chapter. chapter. Tripod dog. Now we're gonna be tripod dog moms. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you guys, I'm the happiest dog over there. You're more calm than we are, Camille. You know? So, Canel is at the place for surgery today. And we are feeling very anxious and sad. We've done what, we've gone through like the multiple stages of coping. One of which was going to the pet store and getting her all of a little stuffies to chew when she's get, recovering and a bone and some little pads in case she has an accident. And of course, a cone of shame. This is the flexible one. So hopefully it's a little bit more comfortable for her. Um, and then of course, this is a heating pad. So she's gonna have some heat and some ice when she's recovering. The other thing we wanted to get her was an elevated food and water dish. But the one they had at the pet store was just a little bit, um, it was a little too cheesy for my taste, so I'm actually gonna build her one so that it's just about the right height for her. So she shouldn't have to bend down too far to get her food and water. Okay, I think this is like the most overbuilt dog food water bowl platform basically ever, but I just wanted her to have the best. So kind of one thing I like to do with my nervous energies sometimes is just build things or prepare things, plan things. Okay, this is what I decided for the final. I decided I wanted the rubber thing on top just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And she may push it around a little, but it's still very sturdy. So she's got her little elevated food and water dish. Let's go get our puppy. How are you feeling? Sad and happy. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna give Canel a little ribeye tonight. <laughs> we should check with the vet and see if that's okay first though, because sometimes fatty meats still ups in their tummy. Yeah, we'll check. For sure. Good idea. She's doing so good. Oh, I got your balls. Right, calm down. Okay. Oh. You can give her like a little handle. Yeah. Hi, baby. You look so good. Hello. How do you feel? Pretty sleepy. Yeah. Pretty drunk. She will wear out a little faster than you're used to. So also know that, and that's good because we want to keep her rested anyway. But just know that like 
This is gonna be a lot because she's put, she's basically hopping on one leg, and if I had to hop on one leg all the way outside, I'd be super tired too. So I do see where that happens sometimes. People are like, she kind of started just going down, and it's because she's tired. Yeah. That's a lot on that other leg. Do you wanna come this way? Come on, let's go and get you in the house. Are you gonna sit there for the ride? Yeah. Okay, great. Doing, baby girl. It's hot back here, huh? Double You're a little bit sleepy. Absolutely. I don't know. The dog. The dog. So good. She's coming in and out of the dog door on her own now. It's like no big deal. She has like a slightly different strategy. Yeah. Like it's, it's a little slower. Yeah. And one foot, one foot, one foot. Let me get this on video just for that one. Good girl. Good girl, Nelly. You're doing so great, love. This is a good dog. This is a good dog. 